Yes, sir. Buzz, go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Yeah, I'm calling you from the other. Can you take my call? Because then on this one, I don't have um, headphones. I'm calling from the other number. Can you take my call, please? You are not calling me other number. What number? Scared. What is the name there? What is the name there? How I know it's you? Is that you, Susu? You call yourself Susu? Who is this Susu? Hot Susu. Abbas is the hot Susu? What is that? Ali ah, Al Alicia. Abbas is Alicia now. Amazing. Okay, Abbas. Yeah, go ahead. Hello, CB, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you, Alicia. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, all right. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> why you didn't read that? This I gave you, man. Hmm? Because that was exposed. Go your ahead, mind. read it. No, I, you see, I, 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 I'm looking for it here in the screen to find it so we can put it in the screen so we can laugh together, you know? No, that's okay. People can hear it. Just read. Okay, read, okay go, go read it. Okay, go read it. Read it. Okay, go, okay, go read it. Go, go ahead, read it. Here we go. You are with me. Okay. It's, it's a very long hadith, and I'm pretty sure you know about this hadith, but you... My friend, my friend, the hadith you gave me, first of all, is not even a hadith. Secondly, we have a Termudi. Sorry, sorry, we, ha we, have, we have a Termudi, the same book, authentic, saying that the verse revealed after the after they've been to victorious. How you can refute the and first I, one? And I gave you the hadith, which is in detail. Okay. So which one you're gonna take? My, my, my for friend, your own advantage, you're gonna take something. Is, is, the, is, is the one is the one you is the one you gave me is sahih? Of course, it's sahih. Okay. Is, is the one <laughs> I gave you? Four. Okay. Is the one I gave you is sahih? The one you read is sahih. Yeah, but this okay. one in detail. So okay, hold on. So read with me carefully. There's no difference. Obviously, this is what happened. No, oh, yeah. oh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Read carefully. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Okay. You see, because there is, no, you see, the, the 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 different is that you are a fool and you think there's a difference. Here we go. This is the same writer. Sure, sure. This is the same writer saying, read carefully, that in the day of Badr, the Roman had victory over the Persian. Yeah. Does it say that? Yeah, yeah. Does it say that? Okay. Abbas, Abbas. Does it say in the day of Badr, the Roman I, I, had I victory? I can't see your screen. I can't see your screen. Doesn't matter. We show you the hate already. Come one, on. One second. One second. One second. One oh. second. So I'm, I'm not on YouTube right now. Okay. Okay. One okay. minute. One minute. Because I'm using my, this is my iPad. I'm calling you from. No here. problem. The phone I'm using All right. for looking up for the hadith. All right. So that's why, one second. Just one second. One for no problem. Uh, I think I'm gonna mute. Uh, okay, screen. Uh, just one second. Can you hear me? Yeah. But, uh, so now? How I'm gonna mute YouTube right now? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's okay. right. I read that hadith what you just right. gave. So when this happened, yeah, so my, my my friend, Abbas, let us let us speak, uh, speak as a Stop asking me questions. When when no, this no, happened, no, no, no. When the verse was no revealed, questions. here here is here is so clear. When this verse was revealed, when this verse was revealed, please read for me. Finish your whatever you want to say. Then I'm going to speak and don't don't interrupt. No, me. we are having a conversation. When when this no, verse when that having, when not, that verse just, was revealed, when that verse was revealed, read for me, please. But according to this hadith? Yes. Oh, I see. You already made your point. So, now can I make my point? Okay, hold on. You see, Why are you so afraid, who, man? Who, who, is, afraid? who is talking about making my point and making your point? Does the hadith say that the verse revealed after they have victory? Yes or no? Make, make your point. Then I'll make my point. Don't ask what me. What make my point? I repeat the question 1,000 times. Yes or no? Yeah. Okay, when you finish, then I'll tell you everything. <laughs> Yes or no? Why are you afraid, man? Okay, well, yes or no? Right. Because there's no, there's nothing, there's nothing to debate about. Does it say in the day of battle, the the, oh, yeah. the, 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 the the Roman were victorious? Okay, now I'm gonna explain what I'm trying to say here. I'm okay, sure go you're on. not gonna let me speak, isn't it? Oh, go, 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 Abdul, go. Uh, alhamdulillah. 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 Allah says in the Quran, "Bakul had." I like your I, I like your Arabic. Remi, re, remind me of my Armenian friend who speaks a little Arabic. Okay. Okay, Alhamdulillah. But you understand what I said, yeah? No, I don't understand what you are saying. No, I don't understand what you're saying because, because the verse you because the verse you quote for me is about Muhammad being a fraud. Why are you so afraid of the Quran? Say the truth has arrived and falsehood perish. Okay, okay hold on, hold on. The, ver the, the verse you just said, the verse you said. 
how the how the truth was revealed can you can you tell me what do you mean how the truth was you mean how the revelation started no no the verse you quote for me the verse you just quote for me in arabic which you do not know how to read so okay. how this verse was revealed how you mean asbabul uh, nuzul you talking about uh, you, you tell me how this verse was revealed I don't know the asbab in Nazul, but it's a fact. By killing his, Quran, by killing people. So now, if we have a debate and I have a gun, I shoot you. That will make me a person who have the truth in my side. This is what you are saying to me. Oh, okay, okay. Educate me. When was it revealed? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You are making the point. Let's see I'm, the I point am making a point. I am making a point. You're just giving me a gibberish. I am making a point. What what verse we are reading from? Just to be sure. What the number? Uh, chapter f uh, 2 was 111, I believe. Okay, chapter 2, verse 111. Yeah. Are okay. you running away from this Tirmidhi? No, we are going to laugh at both all of them. We, you know, we are here. Okay. We are here. Me, I'm going to come back to the future. 111, you said? You said, you 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 said 111, okay. right? Chapter 2 was 111, I believe. That's all right. what it is. Okay. Read. I believe and I'm, I'm pretty sure, yes, that's what uh, it is. Uh, the verse says here, they say that the one who will enter heaven, either Jew or Christians. Where is that? No, no that's why I pull out the behind. Sorry, this is, I think it's chapter four. Verse let us use this one. Let, listen, listen. Let us use this one so we can laugh together. No, the no, Christians. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just to show you how stupid your prophet is. You just quote for me a verse. You do not know the number. So by mistake, you quote for me a verse will will destroy you and destroy your prophet. It says, they say that the one who will enter heaven, the Jews or the Christians, say, bring your proof if you are truthful. Is it the Quran says the Christian and Jews will go to heaven? Some of them, not all. No, it doesn't say some. Does it say all? Does it says it say all? yes. It says all. Let us go to the verse. Yeah, yeah, you know he is uh, Yasser Kadri is uh, trying to learn Arabic. Okay, let us see. Okay, hold on, hold on. Read for me. Read for me. Read for me. Read for me. Does it say? Does it say all or no? Does it say all the Jews and all the Christians will go to heaven and even the Sabia? Uh, chapter oh, absolutely not. The same absolutely chapter, not. chapter two, verse number even, sixty-two. Even all, even all Muslims not going chapter to go to heaven. Chapter two. Okay, read. No problem. Read chapter two. The same chapter, chapter two, verse number sixty-two. Chapter two, verse sixty-two. Yeah. Are we changing the topic here right now? No, we are not. You know, I sh <laughs> we are not. You showed me nothing. Okay, what, what you are showing me, uh, Abbas, 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 what you are showing me, you are telling me that we Muslims are a bunch of idiots. We say something and we say the opposite second page. This is what you are saying to me. Thank you. No, 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 no. Well, here we go. Is, okay, if you want, we can go back to that topic. It does it say in the Hadith that this revealed after they've been victorious? Yes or no? No, no, and no, and never. What do you mean, no? Read it. Okay, here we go. Read it. Okay, no, okay read it. Read it. Okay, read it. Read it. No, no, read it. Read it. No, read it. Read it. Read it. No, read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. It's in front of you. Do you know the, the, the reason? Did you know, in which day? In which day? Abbas. Abbas. In which? In which day? In which day? Let's make it simple. In which day? The the Roman was were victorious. Okay. In which day? May I allow to speak? May I allow you, to what's speak? wrong with you? Yes, we are talking. Yes, no. You see, uh, you, you no. quote for me the other verse. We go there. You are saying, are oh, you changing topic? We go back here. You, you want, are you going to speak? No, what, no, what's wrong? You're not me, you're I'm asking you, in which day, yes, in this no, yes, in this hadith, do you, yes no. do you agree with this hadith? Yes or no, first. Do you agree with it? Yes or no? Uh, yes or no, Gail. Do you agree? No, no, because we, wanna, we don't want to make it confusing. You're trying to confuse yourself only. Either you say, either you say you agree with it. We want to know your point. Your where you stand. Do you agree with this hadith? Yes or no? Oh, not your with your understanding. I understand the hadith. I, I am asking you, not my understanding. Your understanding. Do you do you accept this hadith? Yes or no? I I accept hadith with the context, of course. This is not a problem. This is not a question. Do you accept this hadith as it is? Yes or no? This hadith is not in full context. That's what I'm telling you. My friend, the full context or short context doesn't say on the day of Badr the Roman had victory over the Persian. So the believer were pleased with that. And then the following verse was revealed. Does it say that or not? Okay. Again, yes or no? Am I allowed to say anything? Uh, what do you mean you want to say anything? What do you mean you say? Does it, does it say that or no? Okay. Does, it okay. say, does it say Does it say in English? Abdul, Abdul, you speak English very well, better than me. Then the following, then yes, the following you. verse was revealed. Does it say? That's not a compliment. Does it say then? Does it say then? What? Does it say then the following? Yeah. Again, yes or no? Was revealed. 
Does it say, okay, no, yeah, I don't want to waste my time with kids. You're a kid. Just, no, 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 just get, no, no, get one more time. No, 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 you're just a kid. You're wasting my time. It says that in the front of you. We debate about what? So, you know, the, the, the way to get away from this garbage is to say, I will show you other hadith have more details. What details? Here we go. It says in the day of Badr, the Roman were victorious. Then the believer will be pleased with that. And by the way, here you will see the stupidity of Muhammad. Muhammad in the beginning, he was a hypocrite man as usual, all the way to the end. But in the beginning, he was trying to say himself that he is a close to the Christian. Actually, in that moment, Muhammad, he was claiming to be Nasara. Otherwise, what he have to do with the Christian being victorious? Isn't it the Roman is the same one? Muhammad sent letter for them, convert to Islam or I will kill you. Why he is pleased that they are victorious? If they are kuffar anyway. What he have to do with the Christian to be pleased if they are victorious or not? But because at that moment, Muhammad, he claimed to be Nasara. He married from Khadija, I remember before. And in order to marry Khadija, you have to marry in the Nasara church. The Nasara will not allow you to marry their daughter unless you are marrying in a church. Church of the Nasara, like Jehovah's Witnesses cult. So Muhammad, there's no question he was claiming to be Nasara. And now when they made, start making fun of him, ah, the Christians, they are defeated. What do you say? Muhammad, he responded that Allah told him that they are defeated, would be victorious. When? In the day of Badr, when the news came that they are victorious already. And the story in front of you. And then you want to say to me, there's more details. More details, what do you want more? It says here, it's giving us the date. It's given us what which day? It's given us when it was revealed. It was after they rejoice, not before. After the believer rejoice. Why the believer rejoice? Because they had victory. Same time, if I say the American, you know, uh, they have victory or they lost. Let us say they went to Vietnam, they lost. And they will have victory. Well, they have victory. I mean, this is a great, powerful army. They lose, they win. You know, war is long. Especially if you are fighting long war with the same nation. Today, this, uh, this is a battle. This is, this is not a war, actually, they, they, they won. Because the final, the final victory of the Roman was way long after. And it's very embarrassing. He says to me, that the truth come and the false been defeated. Okay, here we go to the front of you. And he said to me, it doesn't say that Christians, all of them, they will go to heaven. It says all the Christians. Read it. Those who believe in the Quran, those are the Muslims. And those who follow the Jewish scriptures, those are the Jews. All the Jews. All the Jews who follow the, the Jewish scriptures. All of them. And the Christians. By the way, he, he did not say the Christian, he said Nasara. He never said, the, you see, the whole Quran never said the word Christian, in fact. For Muhammad is a stupid idiot. He thinks that the Nasara are the Christians. For around him, there is no really Christians, there is Nasara. And Nasara is a cult spread in the Arabian Peninsula by some Jewish people who they are Nasara. Those Nasara, they run away, you know, the, the Christian, they reject them. The real Christian, they reject them. So they escape where there is no Christians have authority. And Arabia was not under the control of the Roman. So they moved to Arabia. And they spread their cult there. And Khadija was Nasara, and Waraq ibn Nufal was Nasara. And even the Hadith confirmed that. And if you ask any Arab Christian, are you Nasara? He will say no. Not a single Arab Christian, including me, will accept to be called Nasara. In Arabic, in Arabic we call himself Masihiyin or Masihi. If I'm speaking about individual, I say Masihi, which means from the name of the Messiah. All those, and Muhammad, because he is big hypocrite too, in front of the Sabian, he's a Sabian, so he promised the Sabian to go to heaven, but the Sabian, they worship stars. The Sabi and they have like they, they are the same as the Mormon, you know. So they have some kind of fantasy. So they believe that there's gods, not not God, gods, and those gods are angels and they have ranks. 
there's angels who can create there's angels who can build there's angels who can uh, redeem there's angels who can uh, maintain there's angels who do maintenance uh, uh, you know they have a lot of things and Muhammad he copied a lot of his stories from them from the Sabian including even the evolution he was doing this is Sabian evolution if you go and search for the Sabian evolution in YouTube you will find the videos the Sabian which is a very old religion doing evolution you will see it's exactly as Muslims do the evolution today actually even even the, the hadith confirmed that Arab they believe Muhammad was a Sabian Let us see if we can find it. Hold on. Here we go. You will find that when uh, Muhammad and his uh, gang, they were traveling, they found a woman. She have water. They want water. So they say to her, where we can find water? She replied, uh, I was there, which means pointing her finger at the place. And there was uh, this hour yesterday and my people are behind me they requested her to accompany them she asked where they said to Allah messenger she said do you mean the one is called Sabi what they call him Sabi the Muslim they say Sabi is someone who changes religion that's a lie Sabian is a very old religion uh, but, uh, they call you Sabi if you join them Secondly, if he changes religion, well, that's mean he changes religion to be a Sabi. Otherwise, why do they want to call him Sabi? Why didn't call him Nasara? You know what I mean? There's many religions. Why they call him Sabi? Those are the Sabian. Then the Arabic make it even more clear. You know, it says it clearly. Is that the Sabian you're talking about? They said yes. And between two brackets, they say with the new religion. That's a false. It's not there. You see, that's why they put it between two brackets. They replied. They didn't say no. They said yes. The same person. He's a Sabian. So, Muhammad the hypocrite, in the beginning, he was promising everybody to go to heaven, hoping that they will join him and they will accept him as a prophet. Like Obama. Obama, in front of the Jews, he's a Jew. He wear their hat. He kissed the, he, 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 he shake his head in the front of the timber war. In the front of the Muslims, he is a Muslim. In the front of the Christian, he holds the Bible and he go to the church, African church, and he sing with them, glorifying God. In front of the atheist, he make fun of the Bible. That is Muhammad. And even the Muslims, they confirm that Muhammad is a fraud. He do protects. They ask Abbas, why Muhammad have many wives? They say to spread this now. That is protects. That means a fraud. He use women for the sake of his agenda. That's not from God. And the second you ask them, does it say that? He will not answer yes or no. I mean, why would need you see this when they try to explain a very simple answer? That's mean there is something wrong. Why you cannot say yes or no? Say yes, you yeah, no. Very simple. Why you need to make a story and yes or no? They were not there. Is Sharia uh, law is dangerous for non-Muslims? Sharia law is dangerous first for Muslims, before us, you know. Uh, this is why the Muslims, they don't want it. Do you know where, which country they practice Sharia law? I don't know any. I mean, there is some tribes on uh, Pakistan, they are practicing that, where Abbas is coming from, and that's why he ran away from there. Some places in Afghanistan, maybe. Even Saudi Arabia, they are not practicing Sharia law no more. I saw a video of a guy going to taking uh, taking video in Mecca, and he is not a Muslim. Then the crown prince is changing everything. Women they can drive, women they can travel, women they can have their passport. Uh, they allow people to sing. They have uh, dancing parties. They invite singers from around the world. So even Saudi Arabia is trying to separate itself from the cult of Islam. Right? 
not a single Muslim all those potatoes you see them in YouTube speaking about Islam not even one of them would love to see Sharia law practiced according to Sharia law if you wear jeans you will be punished and they will break your legs go and watch Al-Qaeda and ISIS videos for wearing jeans they will beat you you cannot a woman she cannot sit in the chair because the word chair is a meal how a woman she can sit in the chair you cannot have a store for lingerie and the lingerie is in the in the display you have to hide it inside and then women they do inside what they do inside i mean you have curtain so now they can do more more evil stuff like what happened to nabhanit tamar if you remember the story of nabhanit tamar when he came to muhammad and he told him i did with the women what a man, everything the man do with the women except intercourse. Muhammad, he said to him, don't worry, this is lemon. This is what? This is lemon. What is lemon? Lemon is a small sin. What is a small sin? Touching a woman, playing with her private part, having orgasm, kissing her, touching her anywhere. She is touching you too. This is called lemon. As long as you don't do intercourse, it's okay. And I changed the name of Muslim to say I'm lying. So when we say Sharia law is a joke, if a person, he, he go home and he found his wife cheating with somebody, he need to bring four witnesses and they have to see the private part of the male go and excuse my language inside the private part of the female. How you can do that? So you cannot punish her. You have no right to do anything because you have no witnesses. Right? How a woman she been raped? She's going to prove that she been raped. She need to bring four witnesses. If you read the whole Quran, by the way, you will not see even where it's speaking about rape. I mean, how such a such an important topic is dropped in the Quran. How the Quran did not forget to say that you can do lemon and it's okay. You can take a married woman. Imagine a married woman. Not a separated woman, not a woman in divorce. She is in the house of her husband. They are married and they sleep together. She go to do shopping. She come to the campaign of Muhammad. And he play with her and he do everything the man he do with the women except intercourse. Muhammad, he gave in this verse. He says, those who avoid the greater crimes, shameful deeds. This translation is very funny. Where is the lemon? Where is the word lemon? Let me change the translation. I mean, the, the translation of Muslims is really weird. You change the translation, you feel like you get, you get a new book right away. Huh. Look at this. We just changed the translator, both of our Muslims. And those who avoid the great sin, greater sin, and al-fawahish, fawahish, which is illegal sexual intercourse, etc. When they are uh, uh, angry, they, they forgive. What is that? Where is... Uh, how you avoid it? How you avoid those? If you do lemon, you take a woman to your bed, you do with her everything, and this is not a big sin. Oh, because he did not do intercourse. Hmm. Right? So, this chapter here, chapter 42, mentioning that, and the same in chapter 53, verse number 32. Here he add, illa lemon, they translate it as small faults. How this can be small faults? How this is, can be small fault? Any Muslim can tell me? This is a small fault? Taking a woman from her husband, playing with her, having orgasm, and this is in Islam is a small fault? And this is not even considered as a sin? So why your wife, she wear a burqa? If a man, he can touch her, he can play with her private part, he can he play with her body and this is a small fault i mean imagine they say the word is small faults 
let me show you the interpretation for the verse so the Muslim they will not say oh where, where it says what you are saying hold on because you know them you know them right we show them from their books they say it doesn't say that CP. it doesn't say that CP. okay so chapter 53 verse number 32 Give me a second. You see, in the in English, they they take off all the interpretation. It's not there. I cannot find the story of Nabhan Tamar in the book here in the website. Let me see a different one. Hmm. They took it off. The guy he said clearly, "I did with her everything the man he do, except intercourse." Now here we go. Actually. But here they don't have the story, but let us see the interpretation of Ibn Kathir. Let us see what is al hmm? Take a note, al -Lamam. This says, uh, al -Lamam is the following. Commit uh, zina by looking, the lips by kissing, and the hand by transgressing, and the feet by walking, and the sexual organ either and materials or etc by bisexual intercourse so if you have sexual intercourse that will come from the adultery if not this is all is a lemon let us see different uh, place the story were about the Bahanu tamar is gone the Bahanu tamar tamar mean the one who sell uh, palm fruits so a woman, she came to him, and she said, uh, "I, uh, I have, uh, you know, he's, uh, I want to buy like some fruit." So he said to her, "Go, go inside. Uh, I have, you know, a lot of a fruit, better fruit inside." So she went inside and looked like she is a bad woman. So they start playing. Maybe let us see if we can get the book of Asbab and Nuzul. All right. Maybe we can find the story here. <clears throat> uh, look like the story is not in this one. Give me a second. We need to get it busted. We can adjust it and go. Just to show you how the English books does not present what is written in Arabic. It's story different. <clears throat> All right. This is Tafsir al Qurtubi. It says here, Inna hadihi al ayah. Nazulat fi rajul kan yusamma Nabhanu Tamar. This verse came in a person, his name is Nabhanu Tamar. And he used to have a store where he sell fruit of palm tree. A woman, she came to him. And by the way, her husband was doing jihad. He's a Muslim, fighting for Allah. To come and to buy from him fruits. Uh, he said to her, oh, inside the store, we have better than this. So she went inside. And then when she went inside, rawadaha. So he ask her to sleep with him and then she refused and she left this is here the story and then he came to the prophet he said let's see what happened she refused what exactly she refused to do intercourse but he did with her everything read carefully she came to the prophet and he says ya rasulullah o messenger of allah there is nothing a man does i did not do except intercourse which means with this woman Muhammad, he said, oh, maybe her husband is doing jihad. And this ayah came. 
So Muhammad confirmed that Lemam is touching the woman. He did everything with her. He did everything with this woman except intercourse. Muhammad, he told him this is a small fault, no problem. She is married. Her husband is fighting for Muhammad, doing jihad. She's a Muslim. He's a Muslim. And what is the answer of Muhammad? Oh, don't worry. This is Lemam. And here it says, إن اللمم ما دون الوطء من القبلة والغمزة والنظرة والمضاجعة لمم is anything before do intercourse like kissing, blinking or like you know like touching her like uh, punching her in her bum or somewhere or looking or even laying together so if you lay together with the woman she is naked and you are naked it's okay, this is lemam. Kissing is okay, this is lemam. Touching each other, this is lemam. Don't do intercourse, you are fine. This is religion. And here we go. This is Tafsir al Qurtubi. As you see in the front of your eyes. I can give you the link actually. You can translate. But let me. Uh, let me get you more because this page is long. I will give you a shorter. Here we go. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Here we go. And this is the link you can use Google translation to translate. This is what the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So if you compare what the Bible says and what, what the Quran says, you will notice that they cannot be from the same God. Which one in the Bible it says, you know, if it's better for you to take your eye away from going to hellfire? Even Muhammad, he confirmed, even the hadith, even the stories, that if the prophet, his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her. If, if Muhammad, his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her. Let me find the reference. And look, we open our program today to show people that Muhammad had no prophecy, and no, no, no Muslim he come to us for the answer. Okay. Here we go. Uh, here they are counting the privilege of Muhammad. Imagine the Muslims are proud about the privilege of Muhammad. Number 10, the privilege number 10. Actually, I will use Google Translation to translate. Number 10, if his eyes fall into a woman, eyes of whom? Muhammad. Into a woman. If, a, if, a man, if Muhammad, his eyes fall into your wife, you have to divorce her immediately. Let us open it in Google Browser, because I'm not using Google Browser now. And use Google Translation. Does it say what I'm saying? Absolutely. Let us see. All right. You know, Google Translation is not accurate, but you know, it helped. Better than nothing. And uh, the, the problem with Google Translation, you know, especially when you are reading in like an old classic language. It has difficulty to translate those things. So we will use Google Translation. Here we go. Translate. We don't want to translate to Arabic. We're going to translate to English. Uh, change languages. It says unknown. Okay, Arabic. All right. Why this thing is coming in Arabic? Choose another language.
but it's not a change in the first one for me, which we need. All right, let us see. You read carefully, guys. Read carefully. This is the Google translation. They are counting the privilege of the Prophet. Most of it is about sex, and the rest about money. This is the privilege. You believe it? So look at this. The 10th privilege, if his eyes fall in a woman, her husband, he is obligated to divorce her so the prophet he can if her, not marry her. Do you see it? This is a privilege of a prophet? Are we making things up? This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And this is the book of Al-Qurtubi. Interpretation, as you see in the front of your eyes. Chapter of Al-Ahzab, verse number 50. The Prophet has 16 privilege, and most of them is about his private part and about his pocket. Right? The Abbas don't change the topic. Do you agree with that hadith or no? And you got a list of Muhammad prophecy, like what? The first one, it was a fraud. We, we showed you the, the prophecy of the prophet about orgasm. What about the prophet prophecy about women have a sperm coming from the upper side of their ribs? What about this one? What we would do with it? Let us see if this is true. You see, Abbas is trying to change topic. Embarrassing. If, if, if Muhammad, he went to the house of Abbas with my respect to his wife, and he liked his wife, Abbas, he must give her his wife to uh, the Prophet. And I'm sure Abbas would not mind, by the way. He's very open-minded. You know? I mean, they say, in, in, you know, myself and my ma mother and my father for you, Prophet. Anything. You're my, the wife. We get, take the wife. Sleep with the child. Right? <clears throat> Uh, you know, the uh, video of Adnan Rashid, uh, you see, uh, uh, the, when, when a kid like Adnan Rashid, he make a statement. I, you know, how many times I get him busted, this idiot? He, he will never dare to, to call me. Uh, about tall building. First of all, the Arab have tall building before Muhammad was exist. Go to Yemen and see their buildings. Secondly, if you read the, the hadith, you will see that the hadith itself exposed Muhammad to be a fraud. Me, Abbas, when I talk about it, Abbas, you want to talk about the tall building? Guys, Abbas, when I tell us a prophecy of the Prophet, hold on, let us call Abbas, just for fun. But I hope he want to do the same. I mean, we'll repeat the same question one million times. Dr. Yasser Kadi had me in Skype. Let me block you. We don't have time for kids. Uh, Where is Alicia? Okay, Alicia. Let us call Alicia. Alicia, she have for us. A list of prophecy. Let us see what Alicia she wants. Oh, yeah, hey, I guess. Hey, I guess. So, Before I give you the prophecies and miracles of Muhammad sallallahu can I ask you one simple question? You want to ask me a question now? Is that about if I, one simple question. if the prophet saw you? Answer is only yes or no. Is that a, if, is only yes or no? Go ahead. Go ahead. But do you promise me? Do you, do you promise me? Do you, do you promise me? If we do this, yes. it will go for you and for me. If I say yes or no, you will not say. Uh, you want to play games? No, no. I just want to ask you a simple question. 
yes or no. No, no, I'm saying, okay, I, I will say yes or no. I will, say, I, will say, I will say yes or no. I will say yes or no. But do you promise me, if I ask you the same question, you will not say, I will not say yes or no the same? Or this is only will go for me? Uh, well, the next question you're going to ask me, I, I, will, I will do the same thing as well. Just okay, for the, for okay, go okay, favorite, okay, favorite, okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Abbas, go ahead. Okay. Now tell me, is your Bible still a book of frauds? Still a fraud book? Still? Yes or no? Still? Is your bo if your bi if your bi if your Bible is still a book of frauds, a fraudulent book? Well, yes never, no? never was to be, uh, you know. That's no, a no, false. No, 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 no. Answer is yes or no. The question is saying still or still. You have to okay. you have to take the word still you have to take the word still no, off no, the no, question. No, that's not the answer. That's not the answer. No, yes, you have to take no. the word still from the question because if I say not still, that's that mean it was a fraud. Answer. You see, you see, Abbas, don't don't don't, don't don't be a kid. Don't be a kid. If you're asking me, is the Bible is the book of a fraud? I say no. It's your Quran and the proof of that. You're a prophet. Here we go. You are the one saying. You are you are the one. I answered you. I answered you. I answered you. My book. My book. No. My book is not the book of a fraud. And let me get you busted. Is it your prophet? No, no, no. Is it your prophet? I'm not changing your question. We are on the topic. I am not changing your question. Is it your prophet who took an oath? Is it is it your is it your is it your prophet who took an oath in my book? How shame how shame shame on you. First of all, shame on shame of shame of you to say that my book is a book of a fraud when your prophet he took an oath in it. Did he? See, that's not the answer. answer is yes or this no. is the answer. The answer, my book never was a book of fraud. Hey, I'll give you the answer. Never, no, never was answer. the book of a fraud. Answer is yes or no. you never you was the book of a fraud. No, you need. You see, you are a coward. You are a coward. You are a coward. You, you are, I think the word is still. So if I say, no, it's not. So you are going to say, oh, so it was a book of a fraud before. Now it's not. By adding the word hey, still, it's a very, no, very stupid. You know yes very, no, very. Today. You are just, a, you are just a kid. Abbas, no, you know Abbas so you did you are a prophet? Okay, did you are a prophet? I answered you. I answered you. I gave you an answer. I said no. no my book. Didn't. Shut up. My no. My book never was a book of a fraud. Now, did your prophet swear by it? You didn't give me the answer. So I the gave answer you. Was only yes did, no. uh, did your prophet did swear you by know. the book which you call the a fraud? Yes or no. Did your prophet nah. swear by the book you call a fraud? If yes, that means he's a fraud. Thank you. Go ahead. How you answer no. this? He, no, he didn't. He did. No, he didn't. He did. The hadith in front of you. Here we go. No. The hadith is Hassan. The, authentic. The hadith? Oh, Hassan is not good now? What, what Hassan mean? No, Hassan Okay, is one of the kid, one Hassan of the grandsons, no. one of the grandsons of your prophet, his name is Hassan. What Hassan mean? No, when it comes to hadith. Strip it, strip it, answer. Doubtful. What the word it's Hassan mean? The name, thing. the name of the grandson of your prophet, his name is Hassan. What Hassan mean? Hassan in the name. What's mean? What does what it mean? Okay, what uh, Hassan? Why do they call him Hassan? What does that mean? Good, isn't it? It's good. It's, it's good? Hassan is good. Yeah. Okay, so what's the problem now? Guys, it's good. The hadith is good. So what's the problem? I'm telling you the problem. What? It's good, but it's not authentic when it comes to hadith. How you call it good? How you, can, how you call it good, but it's not authentic, you idiot? Okay, tell, tell, tell So me. if it's not authentic, uh, Abdul, 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 just, just to show you how you. stupid you are. So you call it good, but it's not authentic? So you Muslims, yeah, you call something okay, good, but it's not good. That's weird. That's where the charlatans like you came up play with the words. Abdul, so when you Hassan, that, Hassan is a rank of authentic hadith, you liar. Hassan is a rank Mr. of the scholar, authentic hadith. Mr. S Mr. Scholar, mm. tell me one thing. Why is not authentic? Why is Hassan? What is missing? Okay, can you show me, can you show me why, one, is, can you show me one scholar he said this hadith is not authentic? Challenge to you. No, the, the, the book, open the book of hadith. Okay, can you show me? Okay, it says Hassan, and I ask you what Hassan means. You said it's good. You, you are the one who said to me, it's mean good. So the scholar they say it's a good hadith, which means there's no problem with it. Why it's not authentic? Question so, is why so how it's not how authentic? it's not authentic? Why? Abbas, just get lost, Abbas. I want a, I want an adult to talk to me. What we got? What we got is just a kid. Look how stupid they are. I mean, the hadith is good but not authentic. So how you call it good? How you describe it as good if there's no proof of it? Because if it's not authentic, it's mean nothing good about it. You go to Abbas, you ask him, is this pizza you are delivering good? He say yes, but it's not authentic. <laughs> it's not my made, made, made by pizza, it's made by poo-poo.
Do you see how they are? I mean, right away when they accuse us with something, they accuse their prophet. If this book is a book of a fraud, how this idiot Muhammad, he says, okay, bring the Torah for me. And then he took the Torah and he put it in the top of a cushion. And he says, I believe in thee and the one who revealed thee. And then they say to me, oh, this is the, not authentic. It says good. It says, what has that mean? He says good. It's not me who said the word good, which make it more horrible. So look, before they used to hide behind the word da'if. Da'if is not there. So now we play behind the word Hassan. Hassan is good. Uh, the, uh, good is bad in Islam. When Muslim, brother and sister, when we Muslim, we say it's good, it means bad. It's a, like a secret code between us, brother. It says good. It's bad now. In the top of that, where, who is the one who said this is rejected? Nobody. In the top of that, isn't it the Quran confirmed that the Bible never been changed? And there's tons of verses. مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا مَعَهُمْ مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدِيهِمْ أَدِيهِمْ Look how many verses confirm. وَآمِنُوا بِمَا uh, 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 which Allah sent to you, مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا مَعَكُمْ What is what مَعَكُمْ to what is with you. Believing in what is with you. you read it this is their stupid quran and believe in what i revealed confirming what is with you what is what with you so the quran are you going to say this is daif he confirm what is with them what is with them the torah and the gospel Abbas, read the science of the hadith. You are the scientist. You are the one who gave me the answer. Isn't it you who said it's good? Guys, uh, Abbas is saying to me, read the science of the hadith. Science of what? You must have no science about anything. You have science of urine. You have science of poo-poo. You have science of shaving under arm. Science of shaving their private part. You have no science. Al Khomeini, he made fun of the Muslim Sunni. He says, They have a huge library in the science of a private of bathroom which means private part having sex with watermelon using zucchini using a, a piece of leather shape in a, in a in the shape of private part that is your science you as a muslim sunni and now you are asking me read the science of isn't you who said to me it's good i said to you what has i mean i said it's good so it's good what I need, what I need more. Farah, is he a Muslim? All the Muslims, we will take. Uh, where is Farah? I don't see. Let him text me. He will prove that Christianity is not the sole way. This is a guy from Pakistan. Let us see this guy. We have a Pakistani boy trying to compete with the with the uh, with Alicia. Will I answer you? You see that your question yes or no. You see, uh, 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 Abbas, you are just a kid. Will you say, is your book still a fraud or not? So if I say no, you will say, oh, so it's not a silly fraud? So it was a fraud. <laughs> I mean, very cheap of you. Abbas is like, like those women. You see them in, the, in, the, in, in, in London's, you know, and they are wearing a short skirt and they have a bottle of wine in their hand and they are inviting customers. This is how silly you are. When I say silly, I say to you, yes or no. I say the Hadith says in the day of better. I don't say you're a prophet. Okay, Abbas, I'm going to ask you a question. 
Is your Quran still a fraud or not a fraud anymore? Yes or no? Do you see how silly you are? Stupid. I mean, you have a lack of... Int I feel sorry for your wife, by the way. I'm sure you are not the one who do shopping for the house. Because she sent you to, to buy zucchini, you will bring a cucumber. You don't know the, the difference. Supposedly he's being smart, you know. Is your Bible still a fraud or not a fraud? Still fraud or not a fraud? So in either way, that means it's fraud. So how this question will be yes or no? Because whatever you say, it means you are agreeing. Very dirty trick from a stupid idiot. You are just a kid. You are like just a guy, you know, who have like his gum in his mouth and he's taking it out like, you know. Take the gum out of your mouth. Speak like a man. <laughs>